Hey guys and welcome back. This is Mike Kermis at MH Tutorials and today we're going to do a pretty fast tutorial for a fairly simple object. This is a subscriber request and that request was uh, can you model a cartoon rocket? So uh, just a really basic shape and uh, you know we'll uh, get something done here. Alright we're going to start off in our polygons menu and we're going to take a simple sphere drag that out we're going to add some subdivisions to that. So I'm going to go to 60 by 60, like that. Hit 5 for shaded mode. And I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to scale that out. And drag it into something like a cigar shape. Okay. Now, we're going to go to the bottom section here. Right-click on that. Go to face mode. We're going to drag select the bottom part here and hit delete. Oops, I didn't get everything. I'm just going to do that in this view here. Try that again. There we go. Delete that. I'm going to drag select the bottom three sections here. Go to Edit Mesh and hit Extrude. Hit R to scale that out a little bit. And hit W to pull that down like so. Okay. Now we're going to go to the top and we're going to do something similar here. I'm just going to drag, select this top section here, edit mesh, hit extrude, hit R to scale that out a little bit, and hit W to pull that up just so you can see this little angle here. Okay? Alrighty. Now we need to create the rocket fins. So for that, I'm going to go to my perspective view. I'm going to select a uh, polygon cylinder. Pull that out. I'll scale that down in a second. Hit F to zoom in. We're going to give some subdivision to that. Let's say 60. So it's nice and round. We're going to hit E. Oops, not there. There. Object mode. E, flip that over to 90 degrees, there we go, and we're going to remove half of this. So I'm going to go to this view here, and I'm going to right click, go to face mode, and I'm just going to drag select half of it and hit delete. Now, after doing that, what happened is there's a hole in the bottom right now. So, we're going to right-click on that, go to Edge. I'm going to select these edges like that. I'm going to go to Mesh and Fill Hole, so that's closed up again. All right. Now, we're going to get the fin shapes in place. So, I'm going to right-click on this, go to Vertex, and now I drag select this one, and shift drag select that one. And I'm just going to push that down till I get something like that. All right? So, now that we've got that done, let's get this in place. First, make sure that we're, we've got our translate values at zero. So it's nice and central. And then we're going to take that one and we're going to do the same. So we know it's in the middle. And we're going to pull that down to something like that. First we're going to scale it in a bit. It's a bit too big. That looks a bit better. And hit W and pull it down just a bit. Something like that. Check from our top view. Yeah, nice and central. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate that. E to rotate it. And we're going to make sure that that one is at minus 90. And there we go. So hopefully we're starting to get something that looks like a very simple rocket. Okay. Now we're going to throw some color on this. Okay. So first I'm going to take my fins here, come on, 
one here one and and there we go and we're gonna move them up just a little bit hit w like that let's see if we're still touching uh the bottom here yeah barely so we're gonna just fix that right click go to vertex and i'm gonna drag select all these vertices here and pull that down hopefully that worked out um no so we have to take the other two here as well so we're going to do that from this view so i'm gonna drag select go to vertex drag select that one drag select that one pull it down there try that here vertex and they should be okay now let's check that and yes they are okay good good so now we're gonna put some color on this so I'm gonna select my main object right click on that assign new material I'm gonna go with an, uh, an MIA material and go to my material tab go to presets chrome and replace and I'm going to give a different color to the top section here. I'll do this from this view. Pull it down. I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode to make it a bit easier. Right click, go to face, drag all that. Right click, assign new material. I'm going to go with the Fong E. And I'm going to change that to red. And I'm going to do the same with the fins. Right click, assign new material, Fong E, red. And I want this bottom section here. So right click, face. We got that. Right click, assign new material. Fong E, and I want that black. There we go. All right. Now, a couple more things. We want some fire coming out of our rocket. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple object to use as an emit, uh, emitter. So, I'm going to create a little um, uh, polygon cylinder here. Shape doesn't matter too much because we're going to put that inside our rocket just uh, set the translate values to 0 0 and 0 should be inside our rocket right now and we need to check the height so it's up here maybe a bit hard to see there it is and we're gonna pull that down check it from our perspective view and we're going to start to move that inside the rocket like that okay now let's get some fire in here so we've got that selected we're going to go to animation uh, no sorry dynamics uh, effects create fire uh, go to the option box uh, let me see here okay now we need to pay attention to the fire direction and actually I didn't reset my values but make sure that you got a negative value on Y so the fire will go downwards right and then you can play with the fire speed but this looks okay I've been testing this a little bit okay so hit create uh, let's see if that went okay I think so I'm going to increase uh, the number of uh, frames for my animation. Just hit play to see if it's working. Yeah, looks like that. All right. So now what we can do is 
drag select our entire scene, if you will, go to uh, polygons, mesh, and combine. I'm going to drag it up. I'll get that fire particle thing out of the way here. Uh, create a quick ground plane. So there we go. Pull that out. Hit R to scale that quite a bit. Uh, let's put our rocket on the uh, on the ground here. Almost. Okay. And let's throw in some lights. So create lights. Oops and hit point light. I'm going to pull that up, pull that out. Let's look at it from the top view to see where my lights are at. Okay, so I got one there. Hit control D to duplicate that. One over there. Drag select both my lights and I'm going to go to shadows and use that map shadows. That looks okay. A bit high up. I'll just pull it down a bit. Okay. Just going to click on my animation to see if I still got some fire going on. Oh. Just quickly going to fix that, guys. Go back to mesh. Separate. So there's a, that's a shape that I'm looking for. Let's see if I can grab it. No, not that one. That one, there we go. Um, okay, dynamics, 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 effects, create fire. My settings are still okay. All right. There we go. I'm gonna stop that. And we should be okay to render. Let's see if we have a nice angle for the render. Something like that. Okay. Okay, let's go to our render settings. Now I'm gonna um, use Mental Ray because we use some Mental Ray materials. I'm gonna go to my Quality tab. Pull that up to about 1.25, something like that. Hit my common tab. Um, I'm going to increase uh, the size to HD 1080. All right, and I'm going to hit render. And during the render process, I'm just going to hit pause so you guys don't have to wait for that. And I'll be back in a sec. Here you go. Well, there you go, guys. A very basic, simple, uh, cartoony style uh, rocket. Uh, hopefully, you got some uh, helpful uh, modeling tips while doing this. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. And uh, see you guys next time.